Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new shampoo and conditioner from Sol de Janeiro. I was really excited about these when they first came out because of course the scent, I want that scent all over my body wherever I can get it. So when I saw they came out with these, I jumped on it. So each bottle is 33 Canadian or 25 US dollars. Uh, you get 295 mils or 10 ounces of product in each one. So these are in the same range as kind of all the other popular brands you can get at Sephora. So you can buy these on their own. You can get just the shampoo, just the conditioner. You can get both, um, or you can also get this set. It's available at Sephora, uh, 58 Canadian or 45 US dollars so you get the shampoo the conditioner and then a little mini fragrance to go with it so it is a bit cheaper than if you were to buy one of each so the main claims with these are their strengthening damage control reduce frizz and pretty much just make your hair stronger and healthier and my hair type just to give you an idea of where my opinions are coming from my hair is dry it's color treated it's bleached like it's all over dry, but my roots do get greasy after like two to three days and it's wavy. My natural hair texture is not straight, but it's a little bit wavy. Before these, I was using the Verb Ghost shampoo and conditioner. I really like that set. I like the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair, the deep conditioning mask. I like the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Those are kind of the products that I have been leaning towards lately. Cause hair is very personal. I think it's hard to say if you'll like something or not. Cause I don't even know what I like in hair products, to be honest. The packaging is really cute and bright. It's easy to squeeze with one hand. That's my biggest thing. I think it was the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day shampoo and conditioners. Those bottles with one hand are really difficult to squeeze. They're just so stiff and you like squeeze as hard as you can and it feels like it doesn't do anything. These are very flexible. You don't really need a lot of effort to get the product out, which is great. My only thing that I'm not a big fan of is, and this is common with a lot of shampoo and conditioners, and it's, I mean, the biggest first world problem that I've ever heard of, but when the bottles are so similar like that, like the only difference between the shampoo and the conditioner is, is the text and the color of the text. So I have to pick it up. I have to read it. I know I sound stupid even complaining about this, but I mean, hey, this is a video about shampoo and conditioner. There's, uh, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I pick it up and I have to read it. I can't just like spot it and be like, oh, that's the shampoo, that's the conditioner, especially because my eyes are bad. I usually wear glasses. Um, like the verb one, one, the shampoo is, white the conditioner is black i think i don't know but like they are very distinctly different these are the same oh i gotta stop talking about this but you know what i mean okay both the shampoo and the conditioner have that bum bum cream scent and i mean that is a treat to have your hair smell like that um you can't go wrong in my opinion so the shampoo it has a creamy formula and it really gets into a nice lather and it feels like you're really cleaning uh your scalp when you use it I know there's like shampoos out there that don't lather and they, they still clean, but it just feels wrong when shampoos don't get into a lather. I don't know why. I mean, it's probably not even great for you. A lot of them can be stripping. I just like that this gets nice and lathery and it feels like it's really cleaning your hair and it cleans it without stripping it. It doesn't leave my hair feeling just dehydrated. Um, it cleans it, but it leaves it just the right amount of clean. It gets rid of just the right amount of grease and it still feels healthy once it's washed out. The shampoo, I think, actually helps the grease stay out of my roots for longer too. So the last time I washed my hair was yesterday morning when I got home from the gym. I washed my hair, went about my day, woke up, went to the gym this morning. I haven't used any dry shampoo or anything either in my hair. It still feels clean and it doesn't look greasy. And I think that's a plus. Um, it might be disgusting that I haven't washed my hair after I went to the gym today, but uh, it is what it is. I don't feel like I need to, which is great because I hate washing my hair. I usually try to wash it every every two days or every other day if I really need to. The conditioner, on the other hand, it's also a very creamy formula um, and it feels great in the shower when I put it on my ends. It feels like it's really getting in there to my, uh, my poor little dry hair. It feels like it coats the hair nicely. It doesn't feel too watery. Uh, it feels like a nice, thick, deep conditioner, but when I rinse it out, my hair doesn't feel very moisturized. It feels conditioned, like it doesn't feel like it did nothing. It just doesn't feel very replenished. 
which I was kind of hoping it would do because that's what it said it would do. The other thing is it doesn't, I don't know how to explain this. It feels like it leaves kind of a residue on the ends of my hair. Like if I wash my hair, dry it, and then go to straighten it, once I straighten my hair, the hair like sticks together as if I put a bunch of hairspray on it and then straightened it. Whereas most days when I come with freshly washed hair and go to straighten my hair, it's just smooth. It's like silky really. Yeah, it's just like it doesn't wash out and kind of makes it sticky almost. And I know it's the conditioner, not the shampoo because I've experimented. I've, I've tried days where I use just the shampoo and then a conditioner that I know I really like or vice versa, I use just the Sol de Janeiro conditioner. And it is the conditioner that I just, I don't really like. It's almost like it just doesn't wash out of my hair all the way. So I'm not the biggest fan of the conditioner. I'll use it, but I'm I won't repurchase it. The shampoo though, I definitely will repurchase it because I do like it. I like how long I can go between washes when I use the shampoo. It's almost like it doesn't look bad, like from a distance, my hair doesn't look weighed down or greasy or like there's still stuff in it, but it just feels brittle and it doesn't feel like the best that it can. And I've been using these for almost a month now. I ordered it on January 3rd. So I've given them a fair shot. I haven't just tried it once and kind of like. My favorite combination is actually the shampoo and then I pair it with the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And those two together leave my roots nice and clean and my ends nice and hydrated. It's like my perfect combo. So to summarize, I like the long lasting effects of the shampoo. It can go, I can go a while between washes and like even with going to the gym and stuff. I really like that, but the conditioner is not for me. It doesn't really leave my ends feeling hydrated and it feels kind of just like it's something's left in there. Not a fan. So I will continue using the shampoo. I'll continue using the conditioner until it runs out, but I won't buy it again. I'll just forget about it. But like I said, hair is very personal. So just because it did or didn't work for me doesn't mean it'll be the same for you. So it's kind of just one of those things you have to try out. But this is my experience with it. Take from it what you will. Let me know if you're gonna try this. Let me know if you have tried it and what your thoughts are. Um, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.